Okay, now we're gonna check this out. I've got it all wired up. We're gonna check it out. I've got this on the positive side. All my positive side here is right here in this group in my hand, okay? I don't have it hooked over here because we've isolated it from the power supply. So now we press, we got a well. So if we look at our print, all these are open switches. If they're all open, we should have a well. We do, so that checks out. Infinity's a good reading if that's what you expect. Okay, so if we press push button one. Okay, I'm reading about six and a half mega ohms. If I look here, that's about right, six and a half mega ohms. Button two, that's a green light. The amber light, for me, is gonna read about 28 mega ohms. That's what it reads according to my sheet. But that's the amber light. The red light should read about 25 mega ohms. I'm reading 24.5. You know, that's pretty close. What else can it be, right? And then button four, okay, should read around two mega ohms. I'm reading right at two mega ohms. So knowing what the load should be and by pressing these button one, button two, button three, button four, now my ohmmeter agrees with what we're hunting, okay? Now, the only thing's left is switch four. Switch four is the selector switch. If you notice on my print, I've got L here, and then a dotted line down here and R. And then, this up here has a little bit of a slanted line going into the top of the selector switch. A selector switch is different to a push button. On a selector switch, this L means when that top of that selector switch is to the left, then this is closed. In the center of its three position, they're both open. And this one down here says R. So that means when the top of the switch is to the right, the bottom's closed and the top's opened. So I know both these are around 600 ohms, okay? Give or take, 630, something like that. So when I turn the top of it to the left, okay? 700 ohms. Turn the top of it to the right, 600 ohms. Turn it to the center, oh well. That's what we should have. That agrees with our print. Now, everybody wants a secret to a good golf swing. Everybody wants a secret to how to play guitar. Everybody wants a secret to fishing. Everybody wants a secret to everything. The secret is working your butt off, okay? That's the secret, okay? You have to make this print make sense to the real world. To be a good electrician, you have to be able to think abstractly, okay? You've got to be able to go from the print to the real world. You're, most people want to go from the real world to the print. No, 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 no. We've got to go from the print to the real world. Now you're going to do both, okay? Trying to make it make sense. But if you're around a top troubleshooter, a top troubleshooter real quick goes to the print and then to the real world. Because by the print, we can make it make sense. And that's what we gotta do, okay? Make yourself sit down and make this make sense to the real world, okay? Now, let's see if it works, okay? Let me hook the positive side up because we got it isolated. Let me hook it up and we'll see if all the lights work, okay? So. Now we're gonna take the twist this. I'm gonna take the screwdriver, put it in here, we're gonna connect it to the positive side. Alright. Now I'm gonna turn it around. Okay. Now where you can see where you can see it, press the first one, comes on. Press the second one, comes on. Press the third one, comes on. Press forward one comes on. 
okay? So the four push buttons works like our print, works just like this, okay? Now, this four switch up here, when I turn the top to the left, R1 should come on. See it? See the little light? Came on. Turn it to the center, they're both off. Turn the top to the right, it comes on right there. See it? Left, right. That works just like this print. That's what we got to make it do. So this print's going to be on blackboard. I've shown you how to check it all out. If you have any questions, give me a call. We're the trades. We help each other. Let me know. We'll get through it, okay? But take your sheet you've already filled out or should have, okay, and you know what all your loads are, then you can work through this. And before you ever put power on it, you can tell whether that circuit's gonna work or not. That's a top troubleshooter, okay? I know every one of y'all can be one. So take care, email me on it, any questions. I'll see you on Blackboard. Take care and stay well, bye.